friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be taking down all of the Christmas stuff around my house. As I am taking things down, I'm also gonna be decluttering. I am not gonna pack up any more items that I no longer want to save them for another year. I'm just gonna let it go. So in today's video, we are gonna be undecorating and decluttering. Before I start taking down all the Christmas stuff, I wanted to show you guys this beautiful ring set and earring set that I got for Christmas. I got the most beautiful layered set. It is absolutely gorgeous. They are eternity rings and they go all the way around. I thought it would be just kind of unique to wear it as a right hand ring. There are three of them here. If you want an affordable option as a wedding band, this is the way to go. They have a ton of options, including engagement rings, other types of styles and I will have all the information in my description box. So this is 925 sterling silver, a certificate to go with it and they stand behind their jewelry which is so so important. So if you're looking for an affordable right hand ring or just some more jewelry or you want an affordable option for an engagement ring or wedding band set, this is the way to go. They also have men's rings. I'm going to order one for Chris. The jewelry is just beautiful bracelets and earrings and they pick up the light so magnificently. And I also received these beautiful pave studs to die for. They're so dainty. I feel so ladylike and pretty with these on. Oh my gosh, I love them. I have made a promise to you guys that I will never ever put anything on my channel that I don't genuinely love. I've actually had this for over a week and I told them I will not share this with people unless it's genuinely something I love. And I love it. So here we are. I just wanted to show you guys, I love sparkly, but I'm also super frugal and I don't like spending large lump sums of money, as you guys know. So this was a really nice little surprise and I did pick out my jewelry for them to send me. Really, really happy. So you guys have my word and I stand behind it. I love it. This is an amazing company. If you guys want more information, I'll have all that information in my description box. Head over there. Just look at the website. You will be so amazed. So, so amazed. So now I'm going to get focused with taking all this Christmas stuff down. I'm going to start in the front room and disassembling the kids tree. I really was pleased with the way it looked this year. I am going to wash this tree skirt. This was the skirt that I got when Isabella was six months old, her first Christmas. So it means a lot to me and it has never been washed, but it looks like the puppy was back there and the cats were laying on it. So this year, I'm going to go ahead and take care of that before I pack it up. I'm going to wash it and I'm going to start pulling all of the stuff off of the tree. I will. What I like to do is lay everything on the floor and then I will have it in piles, my sentimental items, the plastic balls, the picks, etc. And then I will bring all of the bins in and start organizing it that way. like I possibly need to go to the restroom I'm actually listening to some worship music in my airpods and some you know sometimes you listen to it and you just you just got to move your body you just got to sway back and forth so if it looks like you know maybe I need to go potty that's what it is I'm just really moving to the music
hoping I can salvage the ribbon this year. I wasn't able to salvage the deco mesh that I used last year, so that's why I made this ribbon here. And I really do like it, so hopefully by winding it up very neatly, I can use it again next year. Do you guys have any experience in that area? Are you able to reuse your ribbon every year? Will you let me know in the comments below? I was gonna put the pillows away, but then I realized Valentine's Day is not too far away. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the red pillow covers on the pillows so they are ready to go. Do you guys decorate for Valentine's Day? Do you have like winter decor? Because I personally love this transition from Christmas till Valentine's Day where it's still a little cooler outside and I would like to keep some of the cooler tones in my house. So let me know if that's something you guys do as well. We're like the waves on a big blue storm you see. But still you're the one who brings out the best in me. So it is in the evening. I've had a little bit of trouble, well actually honestly a lot of trouble staying focused with just about everything recently. Um, my anxiety has definitely been heightened and I am going to blame some life changes and some uh, things like that as well as probably too much caffeine on that so I'm going to try to back off a little bit. Um, I really want to make some better choices and if I feel way too exhausted instead of you know, having another cup of coffee or something like that, trying to just be wise and healthy, healthier and a little nicer to my body instead of just trying to go, go, go. So I've been having trouble, like I said, with my motivation and the anxieties kicked in and as well as a little bit of depression creeping back in. I haven't really talked about it too much because I'm trying to like sort through it, but for the past couple of months, it's something I've been feeling once again. But um, I am very excited because I'm actually going to go talk to someone. She's a therapist as well as a life coach uh, next week. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to that because I just need to talk to someone about some of these really strong feelings I've been having lately. And once I'm able to sort them out, I'll definitely talk to you guys because I just don't want there to be a stigma around getting help anxiety depression postpartum you know any type of things like that I think we need to just talk about it so there's not such a negative stigma as well as being able to feel confident enough to say that we're going to therapy and being congratulated and in, like supported during that and not feel like we are weaker because of it so um, as I was saying it's a very long explanation it is the evening time now because my focus has been all over the place and 
I'm hoping the lady can help me with that. But I'm gonna finish putting all of these items away and then I'm gonna vacuum this front room. This little Dyson has been working, although I will honestly say it's not as good as my other vacuum. Um, but I really hate that when it's on high power, it dies very, very quickly. Going to migrate into the main living area and I'm going to start taking all of the Christmas items out of here and disassembling my Christmas tree. in the evening at this point so I'm trying to be quiet as I take the Christmas tree apart as you can see I need to paint the side of that faux brick inside this little cove or cubby under the entertainment center this is always this was designed to have a fireplace but we have not done it now that I have really been motivated to get it done I have learned that I don't have enough clearance in this area to slide in one of those freestanding fireplaces so a neighbor and Chris are going to actually build me a box that I can put an insert in that will have no heat and I'm so looking forward to that because whether we stay in this house or we sell either way I want to get it looking presentable and how I love so we're still on the fence we were just thinking definitely stay but I just I really just don't know at this point, but I am looking forward to crossing items off my to-do list and finishing these projects. I just realized I didn't really explain, so I apologize. You have to have so many feet around the freestanding fireplace if it gives off heat, just a part of the fire safety code. So. I do not have that clearance because there's already an entertainment center here, so that is why I have to get a no heat insert. Let's go. 
this is day two and I'm gonna start finishing up everything that I did pretty much the mess I made it was an absolute disaster so I cleaned up a lot of the areas but I'm gonna finish putting all of the Christmas items away as well as storing them in the attic When we are storing our Christmas items, I like to use color-coded tubs. Nothing fancy or expensive. Obviously for Christmas, we do red and green. Um, Thanksgiving, I will usually just do clear bin so I can see it. However, I will just use whatever we have. So if it's a different color, I don't stress out over it. And for Halloween, it's green, or excuse me, it's black and orange or something like that. Or again, clear. Clear is my favorite because I can just see it and then I don't need to label it. I did wash the tree skirt and all of the Christmas blankets. I laid a plastic bag on the bottom of this bin and then I will start storing the items, the softer items, the glass items, fragile items in this bin with the blankets as cushion and I will wrap some of the globes and fragile items with the Christmas dish towels. I like to repurpose what I have without having to get too much fluff and fanciness over it and then at the end I'm going to take an old towel that I was going to get rid of and just kind of pack everything in there. chaos since Halloween I have had bins down from the attic and I've tried to kind of set them aside but when everything went up and Christmas came down it came right down to where you see it and it has been left that way all month long and we have stepped around things we have thrown things back in the bins honestly we have been so careless and it has been such a mess it has been driving me crazy but I kept telling myself well, I'll just take care of it when we put everything away. So now's the time I'm going to declutter the heck out of everything here, you guys. I don't want to see anything in here that I don't love. If I've had it and I didn't put it out this year, it's going away. It's being donated or given to family members. I am no longer going to hold on to things that, you know, just aren't sentimental to me or don't have value because it's just stressing me out so I want to encourage you guys to do the same thing and honestly it's awesome for the beginning of the year this is the time to just really declutter and start setting some really good healthy habits and less things in my house is going to be something that I'm going to try to do as well as whenever I get something out putting it back I filled up the back of my car all the way to where things were poking out above the seats in the back there and I took that to the Goodwill and just dropped it off. I put all of the bins here. It's looking so much better. I'm so disappointed that I actually filmed me going up the ladder and putting things in the attic. I actually almost fell off the ladder. The tree fell out of my hands. I was lifting it over my head to put it on the top of the ladder. You guys, it was some good footage and I cannot find it for the life of me. I know it was recording because I kept checking, but it's not here, so I apologize. So all you get to see is me declutter all this stuff, stack everything up. I put every bin, including two Christmas trees, up in that attic by myself. I have absolutely no upper body strength and how I did it, I, I just, I have no idea, but I'll tell you one thing, my shoulders, 
and my arms are killing me today. So I apologize that footage is not in here. I will also be cleaning out more of this garage, getting rid of any of the really toxic chemicals that we use and any craft supplies I no longer need. So I will be having that sometime soon, but I just wanted to stop in and say, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and got any sort of motivation from it or just enjoy the music, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. I love you all so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.